two guys early as we get to our tip off. And I got to tell you, the stands, the people that have arrived today, enough of them understand how big this game is. This is a throwback Southern Conference hard to get good seat ticket. Chattanooga controls the opening tip. And the Mox will set it up with the freshman Miles Che. And here's Trey Bonham. We talked about him in the open, averaging 18 a game. Had 22 in Cullowhee on Wednesday night in the Chattanooga win. As a matter of fact, Bonham has made 13 of his last 17 shots. And here he's firing up a three, and it's off the mark. Rebounded by A.J. Staten McRae. And Dallas Graziani at the point guard spot for Samford. Graziani, a great story, was at Nova Southeastern last year. Won a Division II national championship a season ago as Samford takes the 2-0 lead as Ryland Jones lays it up and in. Graziani in that national championship game last year, 24 points, 9 assists, and 3 steals. Yeah, he was... Sorry, go ahead, Chris. No, 16 steal, uh, 16 assist in one game. Yeah, he, <laughs> look, he was doubted coming out of high school because of his size. And I found a quote from him where he said, no one can control how, t how, how tall they are, but they can control how much time they put into it. And who wouldn't want to have a guy like that on their roster, right? Listed at 5'8 and 150 pounds. Here's the inside. Millen in trouble. Lost it, loose on the floor. Samford has it. Chris, this is a game that will punish those who have to think twice about scoring. You're going to have to be quick in this game. Here's the feed again. Kick out, open look. Campbell got it. And a 5 0 lead for Samford to open the game. Nice job to step into the foul there and. Watch this, how quickly they move the ball. No hesitation to shoot. Five-oh run for Samford to open the game. Alexis banging underneath. Alexis will pick up the foul. Foul, number 14, Achor, and it goes against Achor, Achor. Achor. A player that Chattanooga certainly wants to try to slow down today. They know he's going to get his points. And it would be helpful if they could lure him into some foul trouble as well. Oh, and Alexis, a 50% foul shooter this year. Bricks is first. Second shot rims out. Graziani into the front court, picked up now by Bonham. Look at that, just trying to feel it out. Is it there or is it not there? H-or, H-or, he'll drive on Alexis, tries to kick to the corner, batted out of bounds. Last nice touch by Tyler Millen. 11 seconds on the shot clock as Samford will inbound it. <laughs> These people that have elected not to sit down until the first basket is made are still standing after a few minutes. Uh, kind of leaning at this point. Here's <laughs> yeah. H-or, H-or to the rim. And a 7-0 run for Samford. Oh, boy, he is a good one. And he is a guy that can drive on you. And he is a guy that can stretch you. Bonham. Alexis out high, drives against a short, lost it on his way up and out of bounds. Out of bounds, Bulldog basketball. It feels a little disjointed for Chattanooga here at the start. Now keep in mind, they had to come from behind on the road the other day at Western Carolina. They, they scrapped hard for a win. And I think it's just a matter of getting into this one here. Chattanooga trailed by 10 in Cullowee. Graziani fouled from behind by Honor Huff. Mox ended up winning against Western Carolina, 91 to 85. They ended up shooting 60% from the game. Just had a hard time stopping Western Carolina, who put up 85. Chattanooga defensively allowing 71 points a contest.
Graziani at the free throw line misses his first. At 5'8", he's going to be one of the smaller guards in the Southern Conference, maybe the smallest. Honor Huff from Chattanooga is at 5'10". We've talked off and on this year about Huff being a little, little undersized. Samford's coach, Bucky McMillan, he said, I don't think size matters. I just look for good players. Yeah, well, and again, we've pointed this out before. This remains a guard league, despite some of the, the big guys that we've seen come through it over the years. It is still a home where a guard that's undersized can find a place. Bonham from three in the corner, rebounded by Campbell. Stanton McRae to Jones. Jones, open look now for Stanton McRae from the foul line. He's got it, and it's a 9-0 run for Samford. This is a lineup that has done well lately. It's gotten Chattanooga off to a fast start. Zedek would be the first guy off the bench. And this is a lineup right now that's fallen behind in this game. Boy, it just feels tentative right now by some of the players. Bottom works into the paint, now backs out. Six to shoot. Here's Alexis. Alexis spins, baseline, good! Sam Alexis. And Chattanooga is on the board. That snaps a 9-0 run to start the game for Sanford. Bulldogs opposite end. And we've got a, some contact and a whistle. And there's the aggressive return. You just can't let yourself down in this game. And it'll happen on both sides. There's <laughs> very little time to celebrate in this game. This marks the 112th meeting between Chattanooga and Sanford. Mox have won 68. Bulldogs have won it 43 times. Chattanooga with a sizable advantage over the years in Chattanooga. Mox at home are 42 and 12 all time. Dan Earl counting his time as the head coach at VMI. He is 5 and 16 against Samford while the Bulldogs Bucky McMillan he's four and four against UTC and this is the hallmark if folks in the Southern Conference know it well the idea of Bucky ball and it involves a smothering defense they want to suffocate teams with the full court pressure Miles Jay with a bucket for Chattanooga and it's a 10 point lead for Sanford or a six point lead rather 10 to 4 a break in the action we'll step aside now 10-4 Sanford leads Chattanooga still early first half action a half minutes in uh, kind of easy to lead when you don't miss a single shot in your first four right <laughs> that's just uh, that's lights out haven't missed a three. They've only taken one Their only blemish has been the free throw line where they've come up one for four Garrett Hicks in now for Sanford they'll do some some substituting Hicks drives blocked underneath Bonham has it Chattanooga will get it out and run with it Bonham lost it taken by Allen Spock On a wing leopard Rims out. Alexis rebounds. The feed to Bonham. Off the glass. Huff to Bonham. Chattanooga fans know it well. Uh, and here we go. This is uh, what we alluded to. These two teams being very quick. One and two in the league in the transition points. 6-1 run now for Chattanooga. Feed inside. Allen Spock. And Riley Allenspock, a 6'11 freshman, a four-star recruit, rated as the seventh best player in the state of North Carolina coming out of high school. Bucky McMillan has compared him to former Chattanooga standout and Jake Stevens. Holloway will kick wide open as Stanton McRae's three, no good. He'll try again after the rebound by Allenspock. This time it's Hicks from three, and he's got it. Three points, Jared Hicks. So much ball movement. A couple of really clean looks for Samford. 
and off to a good effort on the boards. Wow. I, I don't know if he's got much more range than that. <laughs> Count the basket and put him at the line. Now watch this, really had to change the launch angle just to get it there. And that's one of the areas where I think he is surprisingly good, is he can adjust his release points depending on the distance from which he is shooting. And you know, in my, in my mind, Chattanooga in that first meeting was still trying to figure out who they were. And, the roster has had some change since then. And they're a little bit more closer to who they want to be. And Sanford has just gotten really good at who they are. Huff has four in the first half. Five-point advantage for Sanford. Here come the Bulldogs. And a foul will go on Chattanooga. This may go on Honor Huff. It's Trey Bond. We mentioned the bench coming into this game. Sanford already now with 11 players seeing action. Their bench averages 36 points per game. That is number five in the nation. Zedek in there now. Hor Hor throws it right to Randy Brady. There is a misguided conversation that Zedek is potentially misguided that Zedek is better off the bench than not starting and uh, the statistics would, would probably support that um, but a lot of times I don't know that and you and I both know from talking with coach Dan Earl that it's not about everything you can see on the paper and it may be that he's better off the bench I don't think it matters much as long as he gets minutes he's a stretch guy and a block player that gives you a lot of versatility and rarely does he disappoint you defensively. Zedek the transfer out of Pepperdine. Huff finds the opening. Rims out. Holloway ahead to Hicks. Hicks steps on the gas, gets by Bonham and lays it up and in. Two points, Garrett Hicks. Hicks has five early on. 17-10, Sanford with a lead over Chattanooga. And a travel called on Jan Zedek. You see that bench right there for Sanford. Rarely do you see a bench that is full from the scores table to the very edge. They bring everybody. There's a great look at it. And all you've got to be is ready to go because you're going to play. <laughs> and out, out there was Jermaine Marshall, who I think might be ready to play today. He has been a Ben a bit banged up hasn't played since the 21st of December but there is some anticipation that they will get him in the lineup today HR HR and Jan Zedek going one on one underneath and the alternate possession favors Samford so with 17 on the shot clock Holloway will inbound HR hands it off Holloway over Huff, short, the air ball missed everything. He'll hear about it in the Chattanooga student section. And a foul will go on Josh Holloway. Bulldog foul number one, Josh Holloway, his first team fifth. Holloway, now look, just one of those talented kids that uh, this coach keeps finding and recruiting. Came out of the Oak Hill factory. You know that he has already seen basketball. He's probably seen it at a higher level than this already. Melson. The three missed. HR rebounds. Sanford doing a good job on the glass. Five rebounds for the Bulldogs. Here's HR. Drives against Zedek off the glass. No. Davis lost it off his hands. Campbell. Jaden Campbell with a putback. Campbell with six early. Uh, 
Got to be careful in that corner. And wisely done by the freshman to not use the dribble early and eliminate one of his options. You see guys that get in that corner and they're young and they dribble first. They get doubled and there's nothing left to do. Melson off balance. And he'll miss badly. Sanford with a nine-point advantage. 19-10 with 11-20 remaining. First half. Back to the McKenzie Arena in just a moment. Just right now, the only people that might be scratching it their heads will be those that if he continues to stick around without being fished out of this pond you know still looking for a signature uh, win this year matter of fact if a win today might be their best win on the season i think chattanooga right now is at one of their best points of play samford will inbound sam alexis tapped it out of bounds for utc you know, Sanford had that win against Belmont, quality win. Had a another nice win at Valparaiso. So, looking good. Achor from three, and he connects. Achor, Achor, he is 6'9". Averaging 16 a game, he leads the Southern Conference, shooting 61% from the floor. Here's Huff. Short. Graziani rebounds. Jones with the lob to Jermaine Marshall. Marshall works against Bonham and scores. And there he is, right? We said he hadn't played since December. A guy that is full of energy and 40 minutes of effort. Let me tell you what, he can play. Made 26 starts last year. Preseason All-Southern Conference selection. And you see why. Averaging 11 per game. And as Todd mentioned, he hasn't seen the floor since... Christmas. Here's Che. Miles Che gets the favorable bounce. He's got four. Three ball from Campbell. Huff. Alexis. And Sam Alexis will draw contact. Put him at the line. And I can just tell you, it, the size of Asheville... There, there, there could be more people here today than would be in Asheville for a championship game just because of the size of the arena, and that's a big guy running the floor. And you practice that all the time. Didn't quite have the numbers, and this is going to be a spot that's going to have to get better in Sam, this game. Sam Alexis is now 0 of 3 from the free throw line. UTC is a team at 74%. Alexis... Hits one. Lead is at 11 for the Samford Bulldogs. There's Marshall, guarded by Randy Brady. Miles Che will help out. Marshall works on Brady. And Randy Brady will commit the foul. And there's that energy we talked about, never giving up on trying to gain position. And has played in only nine games this year. Probably still trying to find his game strength. And also probably trying to figure out his role from time to time in this offense. Marshall had 27 against UTC last year in the Southern Conference Tournament. Uh, he did not play against the Mox on January the 3rd in that 89-74 Samford victory. Marshall to attempt his second shot. Second free throw rims out. Brady rebounds. Bonham against the double team to Che. Inside to Alexis against Achor. Two of the best big guys in the Southern Conference. Achor will win this battle with a block. He forces Alexis into a bad shooting spot. I mean, Alexis is banging away. Achor, Achor is banging away. And Alexis just never made much progress to a good shooting spot. Jones three off the mark. Bottom ahead to Brady. Alexis from three. Rims out. Twelve-point advantage for Samford. 
H.O.R. And again, this time it's Huff with a rebound. Both teams a little cold. Chattanooga's hit just one out of their last six. Alexis lost it. Jones into the front court. Marshall short. Chattanooga rebounds. Both teams with a miss. Graziani goes for the steal. Saved by Bonham off the floor. Now Chattanooga will look to set it up with Trey Bonham out front. And you think the players are working hard. We get a chance to look off screen and see these coaches working. They are both, they look like they're both in the gym right now. Achor, Achor gives a little flex to the Chattanooga crowd after the block from behind. A 12-point advantage. Sanford with a lead, 7.48 remaining. First. At the second time, recovery, and he's going to get a break. Hot start shooting the basketball for Sanford. Bulldogs have hit 10 out of 18 so far in this first half. 56%. They've hit three of nine from deep. Che will lob it inside to Zedek. Che, shot clock winding down. Got a hurry, and he'll draw the foul. Miles Che can go to the line with a chance to shoot some free throws. Bulldogs foul on number five, A.J. State and McRae. A.J. State and McRae called with a violation. Che, a 76% foul shooter. Has started the last three games. He opened the season as the Chattanooga starter at point guard, and then as Dan Earl had kind of tweaked the lineup, Che had moved to coming off the bench. But he started the last three, started today, so that's four consecutive now for Che. 76 foul shooter, the freshman from Los Angeles. Makes it a 10 point game, Miles Che with six. Long three by Nathan Johnson, and Johnson, the six seven graduate student, the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. <laughs> they are from all over the place, aren't they? And he is a calm player. He can uh, he can open up the floor a lot with his shooting, Chris. He's he's 47 and 46 percent. The only place he's not really good at is the free throw line, where he's 65. Yeah, that's his 21st made three pointer of the year. Che against the double team, inside to Bonham, and there's the foul. Bottom trying to work against the double team. And the foul will go on Nathan Johnson. You just wonder if Sanford could ever really truly get into foul trouble with the bench depth that they have. Well, they will play a lot of people. Yeah. But that's part of this style. I think you have to play a lot of folks if if you're going to play you know the full court pressure suffocating defense they were third last year in the NCAA in full court pressure rate Fans with that basket, and Trey Bonham, Trey Bonham has now career reached 1,000 career points here's the three from Alan Spock off the back of the rim and it's Bonham with a rebound. He'll look to add to those 1,000 points. The kick to the corner. Zedix three. No. Well, Trey Bonham started his career at VMI. Spent a year at Florida before coming back to join Dan Earl, his coach at VMI, who's now here at Chattanooga. Campbell, the floater. Yeah, I feel like that's a story that we'll see play out more and more, right? Guys that leave a program because a power five has come calling they find they can't crack that lineup and uh, the grass as it turns out wasn't greener on the other side sometimes it is sometimes the other guy waters his lawn more takes better care of it but not always che baseline reverse layup miles che now that is a very cool play in a mature play in a high highly competitive game 
Jones on the skip. Riley Allen spot. Back out to Jones. Picked up by Zedek. Campbell again. The floater. Good. Just a little mid-range floater for Jalen Campbell. He's got 10 now. And it seems like they've all come from about the same spot on the floor. Here's the lob to Che. He'll kick it back out. Zedek. Three ball missed everything. Che can't save it. He'll end up in the stands. Out of bounds, full ball, basketball. <laughs> che hasn't gotten up yet. He likes his seat. Chattanooga's hit just one out of their last six. Mocks are at 35% shooting in this first half. And seven turnovers. You know, maybe one of the more impressive things about Samford, Todd, the speed and the rate at which they can play, but they do a nice job taking care of the basketball. They turn you over, mm -hmm. but they do a good job protecting it. Only two turnovers for Samford. Holloway tries to kick it out. It's oh. stolen by Millen. Millen has it poked away from behind, loose on the floor. Who's got it? Oh, that's a tackle. They'll call a foul <laughs> on the floor. Chattanooga fans uh, not happy with that call. Well, look, you can grab everything but the guy's leg. <laughs> this is just an all-out common foul. Trey Bonham's going to be different, obviously. It took a court decision to get him back on the court. Here's Campbell again, penetrates, floats it up and in. Boy, well done off the ball screen. Just kept an aggressive angle to the basket. Bottom on the run into the front court, bumped by Holloway. In the corner, it's Brady. Brady against Campbell. Now the double team. Brady will kick it out to Alexis. Six to shoot for the Mox. Alexis against Achor. The fadeaway. And it's taken by Jaden Campbell. Hicks will kick it out. The open look. Riley Allenspock. And the rebound by Garrett Hicks. And a fresh chance for Samford. Campbell's three. Miss. Achor. And the third time will be to charm for Samford as the foul goes on Chattanooga's Trey Bonham. That is number two on Bonham. 3.31 to go, first half. Samford with a third. Uh, and you alluded to something else earlier. Done it by turning people over. They have already, you know, tried to do a number on Chattanooga. Five steals already. They average 11 a game. That is fifth in the nation. They're fourth in the country in scoring and lead the Southern Conference, averaging 88. HR at the free throw line. 16 point lead for the Bulldogs. Alexis against HR out to Brady. Chattanooga works around the perimeter. Here comes Bonham. Fouled on his way to the rim. Foul, zero, it goes on Lucas Walls. And Bonham will go to the line for Chattanooga Moxer. Six out of nine from the free throw line. Bonham, a perfect two of two. Make it three of three. Checking in for Chattanooga, 77 miles check. UTC riding a five-game winning streak. They have now won four straight Southern Conference road wins after beating Western Carolina in Cullowhee earlier this week. Bonham in. Trey Bonham has six. And the Samford lead gets cut to 14.
Here's Walls driving. Has it blocked? Chattanooga will be called with a foul as Lucas Walls went to the floor. Well, they'll call it out of bounds. I tried here Walls, who is uh, who won some high school dunking contest, always looking to show off. And uh, you've got to collapse on him in a hurry because he can take flight. Marshall's three, good. Jermaine Marshall, first time being on the floor since December the 21st. He's got six. Now these two teams both have on their resume and in their arsenal the ability and the want to shoot threes. Chattanooga just hasn't found much range today. Huff with a floater, plucked out of the air by Achor. Matter of fact, making just one out of nine. Corner three, Hicks, got it. That'll, that will require a timeout. There's some, there's some offensive players for Sanford that are getting loose in transition. Watch this right. Or do you become more patient and make sure you get the perfect shot, or at least a better shot? And uh, that's just one of the things that they'll be talking about in the locker room. 20-point lead now for Samford, their biggest of this first half. They're on an 11-2 run over the last three minutes and 30 seconds. And Chattanooga has just been a little disjointed offensively. Here's Bonham blocked by Achor. Loose ball taken by Marshall. Marshall over to Achor. Back out to Walls. Walls with a lob. Marshall against a triple team. He'll try to throw it off Bonham and can't. <laughs> well, Steps out of bounds, turns it over. Everything feels intentional by Sanford. Watch this right here. Let's try the old school move. Oh, <laughs> off of my chin, off of your body, my ball. I don't know if that's the reason why I want to lose a couple of teeth, but wow. What a pass. What a catch. Jay over to Zedek. Zedek pulls up. Off the back of the iron, rebounded by Jones, ahead to Walls. The former Tennessee Mr. Basketball out of the Knoxville area. Three-time All-State selection was Lucas Walls in the state of Tennessee. Campbell against Alexis, out to Achor. Shot clock down to single digits now. Walls, five to shoot. Works against Bonham. Takes him all the way down, missed the shot. And he'll commit the foul on Miles Che. Sanford foul number zero, Lucas Walls, his second. Team 10. At the line for Chattanooga, 77 Miles Che. Shooting two. Che with a chance to shoot two. He is a. Perfect two of two from the foul line today. Checking in for the Bulldogs, 25, Nathan Johnson. Uh, this type of play can really change your mechanics. You, you just get a little tired, and not only physically, but sometimes mentally. I mean, Sanford just makes you defend so hard and all the time. I mean, if I wanted to think, I'd go to study hall, not come out here, right? Just under a minute remaining. Sanford will ask for the timeout. 57 seconds left. Yeah, I want. And it doesn't feel like Chattanooga has been able to find the combination that works today for Dan Earl. Yeah, and Sanford doesn't leave you a lot of room to get better. Here's Campbell. Allen Spock gets Zedek in the air, goes to the rim, lays it up and in with a finger roll. Well, there is a rare bite on a move by an offensive player by Zedek. Just saw him shake his head frustrated with himself. 
that he lost his position. Huff, the floater, short. And the foul will go on Achor. Bulldogs foul on number 14, Achor, Achor, his second. Honor Huff to shoot two. Enter the game. For Sanford, number three, Chandler Leopard. Huff has played the entire first half for Chattanooga. Yeah, he's, the, the, he's the only one that hasn't come out of the game yeah. yet for the Mox. And, and there's only one guy for Stanford that's played 15 minutes, right? Yeah, that's Achor. Yeah, when Stanford took that time out, they got what they wanted. A two-for-one exchange. They didn't capitalize the first time they had it. Campbell shoots over Zedek, tipped up. Che has it. He'll cradle it, and the first half ends. A 20-point lead for Sanford. Bulldogs going on the road. Looking to improve to 9-1 and one in Southern Conference play and stay at the top of the Southern Conference. Grab a few more people. Make it hard to move around. Get physical. Twenty point lead for Sanford. Chattanooga with the ball to begin things. Bonham on a skip. Che turns around. Miles Che in double figures. He's got ten. That's a great shot. And here why well, I think it's a great shot. And I don't use the word great very often. There was no hesitation. Now, it's no secret that Chattanooga wants to be unselfish. In this game. At its pace, sometimes you just got to let it go. Graziani at five feet, eight inches. He'll bank it off the glass and in. Especially when the floor's not loose, you know? Right here, let it go. <laughs> Here's what we talked about. The secondary look. Can Chattanooga get something comfortable on the seconds? Huff catch and shoot three, and he connects. <laughs> Honor Huff hit three of five threes against Western Carolina this week. Finished the game with 19 points. Huff now with nine. And it's 45-28. Campbell. Jaden Campbell is having a heck of an afternoon for Sanford. He's got 15. Che. He is an athletic type. He is a starter slash top six man in the SOCON. Huff. Knocks down the three and draws the foul. <laughs> Call it on Ryland Jones. Oh, uh, Ryland. So frustrated by that. Watch right here. Just gets there a little late. His dad was an assistant at his uh, first previous two stops, Utah and Utah State. And then his dad went back down to high school ball. And Ryland was looking for another place to play, and this is a good place to do it at Samford. Good high school player in the state of, of Utah was a two-time Mr. Basketball winner. Yeah, I think his size and his length are average, and everything else is Division I level. He's got a good IQ, limits his turnovers. He's a guard with good vision. Achor, the turnaround against a double team. And a heads-up play by Bonham to save it from going out of bounds. Che. The pull up gets his own rebound. Here's Alexis against Achor. Loose. They'll scrum for it. Samford has it. Staten McRae saved it from going out of bounds. On the move, Staten McRae off the glass gets his own rebound. No, the tip not there. And it's taken by Graziani. Back to the corner. Campbell. No. Chattanooga basketball. There's Dan Troy called with a foul. Entering the game for 
And Achor Achor will come out. Millen. Tyler Millen goes baseline. That's more to the style I think you need in this game. An aggressive approach to the rim. Don't worry about banging. Just get there in a hurry. Chattanooga scored 10 in this third quarter. Box have made it a 15. Some energy in you still got a lot of work to do, but they have narrowed the gap a little bit. Chattanooga's hit four out of six so far in the second half. Samford's hit just two of their first seven shots. Graziani into the front court. Ali Allensbach. Over to Campbell. Graziani. Graziani gets around bottom on the skip to Campbell, and he'll step out of bounds. Check that, it was Staten McRae that stepped out. Uh, here's a chance to see how they'll go after the Ram after they break the press. <laughs> Alexis. The feed to Bonham. Beautiful move inside off the glass. See, Bonham, Che, and Millen are coming around to the speed of this game. And, and Honor Huff maybe as well. Wipe off the basket. We had a foul. Goes on Tyler Millen. First team foul on Chattanooga the second half. Samford will inbound it. Dallas Graziani. Here's Campbell. Looks to work off the screen. Oh. Graziani gets around oh. bottom. Bottom over plays, and Graziani didn't take advantage of it. That might be a missed opportunity. We'll see how this possession turns out. Here he comes again. Graziani pulls up off the back of the rim. Alexis rebounds. It's a good stop by Chattanooga. Huff. There's Campbell. Fighting inside, a little contact, no foul. And Sam Alexis will take it away. Well, Hunter Huff looked behind him. Nobody trailing. He's ready to go. You can see he wants to break out. And he does. 14 for Honor Huff. And the Samford lead. At one time, it was 22 back in the first half. It's down to 11. Riley Allensbach. The miss. And Chattanooga with a chance now. Mox can get it to single digits with a basket here. Che. Bad feed. Well, uh, one Bad pass. Yeah. Bad pass. Bad pass. One too many, right? That's what we talked about earlier. 48 37, 14 51 remaining. Second half. While Sanford is just two of 10. And Chris Chattanooga is still looking for their first points off that bench. Been outscored bench wise 21 to nothing. Bonham and Shea both in double figures for the Mox. Here's Holloway taken away by Alexis. Che goes behind the back, lost his dribble. He'll get it back. Che guarded by Garrett Hicks. There's the lob to Alexis. See, Nelson's in there now. I would think this game would play to his strengths. Che from the corner. Miles Che has 13, and it's an eight-point game. Samford led by 22 back in the first half. And it was a 20-point lead for the Bulldogs at the break. And Che was calling for it, and Honor Huff caught him out of the corner of his eye and threw it to a wide-open Che. 
Stanton McRae with a miss. And then called with a foul as Sam Alexis went for the rebound. And that is personal foul number three on A.J. Staten McRae. He'll take a seat. Jay and Hicks, pretty good little one-on-one -on -one battle there. Holloway joins in. Nice job to fight through that screen. Four to shoot, and there's the heave. And shot clock violation on Chattanooga. Good defensive effort by Samford. Yeah, I mean, Nathan Johnson was, took a hard screen, managed to fight through it. Sometimes I feel like these shooting guards need to tighten it up and get as close as they can to that screen. They leave that, that sliver of room to fight through. I mean, you've really got to run people right into it. Miles Che checks out for Chattanooga. Hicks wanted to go to the corner and Josh Holloway. Holloway was breaking towards the basket. The ball ends up in the Samford bench. Chattanooga will take it over now and it's been five and a half minutes since the last time Samford scored. Still got your dribble here. Well, or that. <laughs> Randy Brady playing the role of wide receiver. Nice job on the no call. Corner. From Zedek, short, long rebound. Zedek has it. Chattanooga will get a, another look at it. Bonham, weaving off the glass. No, fights for the rebound. Taken by Nathan Johnson. <laughs> and a missed opportunity for Chattanooga. Here comes Holloway into the paint, spinning. Holloway shoots over Zedek. It's missed. Brady rebounds. Bonham. To Zedek, wide open from three, rims out. Oh, he is just having such a tough night at it. He and Alexis. I mean, it, it just, they're not getting any point per production from those two guys, and it's a shame. Jan Zedek, 0 for 5 now shooting, and 0 for 4 from three-point range. Hicks with a lob, a chore. And that will snap the streak at six and a half minutes without a basket oh. for Samford. 50 to 40, lead goes back to 10, under 12 to play. Didn't really realize it was a scoreless streak because it was so dang entertaining. Huff. Johnson again will rebound it. Holloway, picked up by Brady. 10 to shoot, Holloway goes behind the back, the kick out. Here's Johnson, the feed, a chore, the dunk. A chore, a chore has 10. Bonham from three. The follow, Noah Melson. First points of the game for Melson. They come with 10.35 remaining. And a 10 point lead for Samford. Here's Campbell driving on Brady, gets cut off. And Chris, those are the first points from the bench for Chattanooga. Six to shoot, Campbell harassed by Brady, partially blocked. Brady got a hand on it, we'll have a foul call. Foul on Randy Brady and the Chattanooga crowd does not like that at all. Campbell will go to the free throw line. Campbell an 84% foul shooter. He is one of two at the line today.
Second shot is good. Now entering the game for the Bulldogs, number five, A.J. Staten McGray. 11-point advantage for Samford. They'll pressure Chattanooga on the inbounds and steal it. Jones to the rim. Ryland Jones makes it a 13-point game. He's got four inbounds now to Che. And there's the foul. Chandler Leopard called with a foul. Brady, nine to shoot for Chattanooga. And it's deflected out of bounds. Wanted to go to Zedek in the corner, and it was A.J. Staten McCray that was able to tip it away. Yeah, he's such a good on-the-ball active defender. And that was all about just being ahead of the pass in the action. Six seconds. Bonham off the back of the iron, rebound tip. Secured by Jermaine Marshall. Johnson over to Marshall. Marshall works against Alexis, goes off the glass and scores. Now you know why they missed him. That is eight points for Jermaine Marshall playing for the first time since December the 21st. Bonham. Well, outrun defenders into the front court. The step back from three. Bottom in double figures. He's got 11. It feels like he is really suited to this pace of play. It doesn't seem to bother him much. I think it's elevated his offensive game. Marshall off the miss and Bonham there with a rebound. Trey Bonham with 11 points, now four rebounds for Chattanooga. Here's Jay, finds the opening. Missed it a little too much off the back of the rim. Lead stays at 12 for Samford and an opportunity to build on that now for the Bulldogs. Three from Holloway. Rebound tipped out, Jones. Jones drives to the rim and he'll draw the foul. Up around the cylinder, that'll be goaltending. Break in the action, we'll step aside. Go. Chattanooga's had their opportunities again, down by 22. Late in the second half, 20, or late in the first half, a 20 point lead for Samford. Mox put on a 9 0 run. Samford goes six and a half minutes without a basket. UTC's had plenty of opportunities to claw their way back into this, have not been able to get closer than 10. Oh, that's goaltending two in the cylinder, I think, by Alexis. <laughs> They're going to wipe that off, I think. Oh. It's goaltending on Sanford, so count the bucket. And Trey Bonham has 13. I thought that was going to be Sam Alexis. I don't think I've seen a player do it twice, and little alone on the offensive and defensive rim. Inside to A.J. Staten McCray. It's a 13-7 run, Samford, over the last six minutes. Miles Che with 13 for Chattanooga, banging his way against Nathan Johnson. And we've got the foul called underneath. Now, this Chase, go on, Johnson. And, and Chase seems physically suited to play this game, too. That was, you know, you could have called that in other games, but they're letting contact occur. And he created some separation. Che is two of four from the free throw line.
Second one from Che is good. Fifteen points for Miles Che. He had 22 against Louisville for his season and career high as a freshman. Johnson, 10 to shoot. He'll drive to the rim, goes high off the glass and scores. Well, everybody is a threat to score when they step on the floor for Sanford. It makes it so hard to decide how you're going to defend. Alexis against a chore. He'll give it up to Bonham. Chattanooga back around the perimeter. Here's Che just inside the three-point arc. Short, rebounded by Nathan Johnson. And you start to wonder how many misses do you have left before this game is out of reach, right? Chattanooga shooting 38%. Mox were below 30% for the first half. Sitting at 38% now, Samford shooting at even 50%, and Huff comes away with a steal. Huff. Huff with a layup. 16 points for Honor Huff. Huff had 19 against Western Carolina this week. A.J. State and McCray with the answer. I'll give you two and take three. Yeah. And Miles Che, he'll limp over to the bench. This is a game where I wouldn't be surprised to see a guy cramp up. <laughs> it's just, it's played at such a fast level. And 34, Randy Brady. In for the Bulldogs, number 10, Garrett Hicks. And number two, Jason Campbell. Bonham looks for a clean look. The lob to Alexis. And the two-handed dunk by Sam Alexis. Alexis with a quiet five. And a 13-point lead for Samford as we approach the five-minute mark. Uh, you mentioned the difficulties for Sam Alexis, and as you worded it, a quiet five. It's it's uh, it's been that kind of day, right? Zedek 0 of five, Melson one of three, so there's one of eight right there. And then Sam Alexis just the two out of seven so far. And this is a team that, uh, uh, in great part, their success is going to come from how they shoot for three right and they've made five out of 20 today long three from Garrett Hicks is good and that's their ninth made from the three-point arc Hicks the transfer from Alabama A&M he scored 1300 points and made 103 starts at Alabama A&M maybe one of the more if not the most experienced players on this Samford roster. See Jan Zedek right there. We'll see him in a moment. Coming back in right there, just flashing across the screen. Look, he's going to have to continue to try to three, right? And they've got a lot of confidence in them, and they should, right? You, you watch these guys in the gym at practice if you're a coach, and they just drip them through all practice long. And after practice, and you're hoping that if they're cold, they can get it going again during the course of a game. Melson. And he goes over the backboard. And Samford will take over. Well, Samford roared out to a 9 nothing lead at the start of this game. They pushed it out to an 11 point lead midway through the first quarter and led by 20 at the half. 
Chattanooga was able to get this down a couple of times to a 10-point game. Mox not able to get it any closer. Oh, that's a trap. Zedek with a trap. <laughs> oh, and he, he knocks down the shot, and he but it's been knocked yeah. down. Break in the action. Let's step aside. 3.56 to go. Samford leading Chattanooga. Pretty now. This Samford team came in here and for the most part just took the air out of the building. Other than the dissatisfaction with the officials, the crowd really hasn't had too much to get up about. There was that moment here in the second when Chattanooga climbed within single digits, but Sanford didn't panic and stretched it back out again, and now they're going to get an opportunity to be patient and see if they can get Chattanooga to gamble a little bit and take advantage of it. A chore, a chore. The pass tipped and then taken by Zedek. Brady open on the wing. Let's the defender fly by and he'll fire and connect. First basket for Randy Brady. You think he wanted it? Oh, <laughs> I know I'm not the guy that's supposed to be shooting these, but we need them. I've always felt like this is one of the most dangerous parts of the game for a team that's in the lead, right? You're, you're going to face some desperation here for a minute, a minute and a half, and you really got to be aware of they've given up the three, and now they turn it over. 10-second well, ten, ten violation, backcourt violation on Sanford. Chattanooga will get possession back so a a 10 point deficit with three minutes to go is not that much to worry about won't be easy bottom drives by jones lost it off the dribble jones has it on the floor and we'll have the foul called on chattanooga's randy brady well, Brady comes right on top. That's the one thing you can't do when the ball's loose on the floor. You can you can get down there and fight for it, but if you're on top, you're going to draw a foul. Number four, Sam Alexis. Graziani will inbound. Here's a chore. Jones gets it into the front court. Rylan Jones with seven to shoot against Randy Brady. A chore against Alexis. And a foul will go on Sam Alexis. You know, the idea today against a chore was just to limit his impact. They, they knew that he was going to get his points. And I think to a great degree, if you hold them to a round, let's say he makes the free throws, if you hold them to 12, if you hold them under 15, maybe you're okay with that. I just, uh, at some point, though, you've, what you're not counting on is going 6 of 21 from the three-point line. And getting out-rebounded 34 to 22. Yeah, Moxon missed six free throws today as well. So you add all of that up, and you get a 71-56 deficit with 2.36 to go. Huff. Kicks to the corner, Bonham. Over Jones. Rebound taken by Hicks. A chore has it up high. Samford now, they're willing to use some clock here. 
as Jones drives against Brady. Kicks it out, open look, a chore. Watches it rim out. Rebounded, Stanton McCray loose on the floor. Chattanooga has it. If that ball had gone down and you would have said game over, I probably would have agreed to, some to, to a lot of degree. Alexis blocked by a chore. And Brady will foul A.J. Stanton McRae. Well, a win for Samford would give them 20 out of their last 21. And they would go to... That is a, that's to the outer regions of the Southern Conference, going to UNCG and then going to Lexington. Graziani into the backcourt to Jones. See if Chattanooga will elect a foul, and they will. So Dallas Graziani, who's a 71% foul shooter, will go to the line. Number 12, Dallas, Graziani. Dallas Graziani out of Pembroke Pines, Florida, was at Nova Southeastern last year, won the Division II National Championship there. As a matter of fact, they've got Dallas Graziani, who won the Division II National Championship. They also have Zach Loveday, who we haven't seen yet for Sanford, but he won a national championship playing for Baylor during the 21 season. Played 13 games that year at Baylor. Another your point, just reload, right? Well, that's what they've done. Huff, deep three, rims out. Bonham saves it. New look for Chattanooga. Bonham, step back, three. It won't go, there's the tip by Alexis. And rebounded and cleared out by A.J. State and McRae. Minute to play. One minute. One minute remaining in the game. One minute. And again, Sanford willing to use up some clock. A chore. The miss. The rebound tipped out. Rylan Jones. And they can use a little more clock here. Very impressive outing for Sanford. Both these teams that felt a little lethargic at the start. They got going quicker than Chattanooga. State and McRae at the buzzer. And uh, have done a lot of things right, obviously. 20 point lead for Samford, here's Huff. And Samford will rebound. Sam Alexis will be called for the foul for Chattanooga. Bulldog shot 51% today, including 42% from three. They hit 10 out of 24 from deep. Eight out of 14 from the foul line. Chattanooga under 40%. Mox hit 36% from the floor. Just six of 25 from three. And 12 out of 18 from the line. Shooting the one in bonus. This will give Chattanooga a lot of things to either look at and talk about, or you chuck it in the trash and you move on. Samford had beaten Chattanooga three out of the last four. You can make it four out of the last five outings now. They will sweep the regular season series against the Mocs. You know, what you don't want to have happen if you're Chattanooga is you don't want this game to have a lingering effect and have it beat you again yeah. in your next game. Box will be at VMI on Thursday. Because that that's a road trip so, that sometimes can take you mentally out of a game. It's Huff. long drive, long stay. Todd, some final thoughts. An impressive outing for the Samford Bulldogs. They're now 20-3, and 9-1 and in the conference. Three straight years with 20 wins for head coach Bucky McMillan. Yeah, only one of, as we said, only one of eight teams in the